So in this video, you're going to be seeing a lot of Sky more because I'm running pretty low on clips. And not only that, if I do show y'all Nico Remigio, I'm definitely going to get copyrighted. But what's good, YouTube? It's Chiefs Priority here. Basically, what we could talk about is Nico Remigio being a hidden gem for the Kansas City Chiefs or a secret weapon, whatever you want to call him. All I know is that he had a very good outing and a very good performance against the New Orleans Saints the other day. The catches he was making was pretty impressive. Um, I liked how he was able to get open. He was creating separation. Even though he's small, he makes some very good catches, and he has a, a very good vertical. His hands is up there. I think he's a very solid player. He could create space above average. I wanted to see him kick return a little more. I don't know. I think I, I think he did, but I just wasn't watching it at the end. But what did get me mad is what happened at the end. Like, bro, that we could have had that game. I had money on it, but it was in a parlay anyway. The Houston Astros would have um sold my parlay. But, yeah. But, yeah, Nico is definitely a very good player. He's talented, and I think he should make the roster over Justin Watson because he has a lot of versatility to his game, you know. Him being able to kick return, punt return, and be a very good wide receiver kind of reminds me of Sky Moore. Even though Sky Moore had trouble punt returning, the small shiftiness with good hands, they both remind me of each other, to be honest with you. And I think that Sky Moore could be a perfect complement to Nico Remigio's game. And that's somebody that Nico is going to want to model himself after because Sky Moore is not a bad of a player. And Nico's around his size. Nico was going up there, catching the balls running routes, getting wide open, and I just love to see it. He had, what, 71 yards on four receptions. That's a very good preseason game. And Brett Veach, he, he just keep he just keep getting right with these UDFAs, man. Brett Veach is knowing what he's doing with these UDFAs. That's one thing I can't take from him. Getting Justin Ross and then Nico Remigio, that's really something big. In my opinion, the depth of this wide receiver chart, it really showed in that game. I mean, we lost to the Saints 26 to 24. I get we didn't come away with the win, but we managed to learn something about the team's receiver depth. Because this group, we know they face consistent questions all offseason with Juju Smith Schuster and McCole Harmon landing somewhere else in free agency. But the depth on this team at the wide receiver position is looking as competitive as ever. And I think if they continue to perform like this, like they did in New Orleans. Um, I think they're going to make things very hard on Brett and Reed when it comes to roster cuts this month. I feel like Justin Watson has to be one of them roster cuts. We're going to first talk about Justin Ross arriving, though. Not Watson. Watson's a roster cut to me. But Justin Ross, I knew that he had this hype going into preseason. I knew that he was going to be able to show it. I knew that he's going to be able to not show it, but back up the hype that he's had. And that's what he did. That's definitely what he did. Andy Reid said he thought um, Ross did a decent job. And, yeah. I like what he did. That's his first game in two years, and he played that good. And Reid said that's it's a good that it's good that Ross, like, you know, looked good after not having a game in nearly two full years. And Reid was like, yeah, that's a good part of the story. He came out healthy, so that's a positive thing. Then you got Richie James, who put up a very solid performance working with the second team offense. Um, he had a 43-yard reception in the second quarter and a one-yard touchdown grab just two plays later. So I, I, I like Richie James, you know, because he's a very good player. And he had a very beautiful catch. That was a good play by him. He's a good football player. That's what Reed said. And I think that James would definitely have a very good – he he would have a lot of, you know, like he's going to have a lot of time to show himself in Reed's offense trust. Then Nico Remigio, so on his first target reception, he held a 24-yard pass from Shane Bouchel, and that was the second longest reception of the day next to James. And what was most impressive about Re about Nico Remigio, because he, he, he corrected how to say his name, Nico Remigio, his body control that he continuously displayed. He made several mid-air adjustments to come down with acrobatic catches. And we were seeing that all throughout training camp. So it doesn't really surprise me. He ended up catching four balls on six targets for 71 yards. 
That was the most receptions in receiving yards on the day by a Chiefs wide receiver. And his performance is warranting more time with the second team offense as opposed to working with the third and fourth team offense. And, yeah, you got to love it. Rasheed Rice did pretty well, three receptions on four for 30 yards. Um, and Reed, is just lo Reed just loved what this, you know, what this wide receiver call did in general. And I think a name to watch is Kikoa Crawford. He did very good, two receptions, 27 yards. He caught a touchdown. And, yeah, man, this wide receiver call is looking nice. And I love Nico Remigio. He, he was very impressive. I think he could be a hidden gem for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I just really believe that he could be a hidden gem because he's from, first of all, Frontal State, right? We know how good he is, and his, especially how good he was in his final season. He had 74 receptions, 852 receiver yards, a total of eight offensive touchdowns in only 14 games. He's excelled in the return game, accumulated over 700 return yards and scoring two touchdowns. And he possesses numerous qualities that make him a very good prospect, like his ability on special teams, his skills after the catch, his reliable hands, obviously, and his remarkable elusiveness. You know, his elusiveness is honestly crazy. And with Remigio's diverse skill set, Andy Reid could design creative offensive schemes for him, and he might be able to even take Cole Harmon's role in the offense, you know, with screens, jet sweeps, and other similar plays. And once Remigio has the ball in his hands, opposing NFL defenses have a problem on their hands. Notably, over his final two college seasons, Remigio only dropped five passes out of 149 targets, while Rasheed Rice had nine drops on 150 six targets in 2022 alone but i'm not trying to say he's better than rasheed rice i'm just saying his hands may be even more reliable and i do believe that nico is going to most likely make the roster with ease and yes i said i'm sorry that y'all seeing sky more this whole vid but nico is most likely going to make the roster with ease and because he has just too much qualities like i'm not gonna say with ease but i do think that the chiefs are going to really be like damn we might have to cut justin watson because ross is balling rice is balling richie's balling remigio's balling yeah, it's time to let go, let go of Justin Watson. I think that's what we should do because, bro, what's this Justin Watson thing? I don't see how he's so good. He didn't do barely. He did nada last season. He did nada. He had a good catch against J.C. Jackson. He had a good catch against the Raiders. But in my opinion, he did nada. So I feel like we should just cut him, let him go, and get these young dudes and give Ross a chance. He's looking great. Give Remigio a chance. He's looking great. Richie's looking great. Tony's not getting cut. Rice is looking great. Moore's not getting cut. So I feel like we cut, we got to cut Watson. MVS is definitely not getting cut. So we have to cut Watson. But if you enjoyed this video on Nicky Remigio, I do think that he's the hidden gem for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'm going to label him as, as a secret weapon. Let's be your boy Chiefs Priority, and I'm out. Peace. More preseason coverage and more NFL coverage coming.